Hey guys, Dr. Dobson. We're going to be fixing this upper premolar in this video. I had a piece of amalgam flake off and then some decay happened in the, in the hole. So we're going to get going by uh, removing the old restorative material. The amalgam just kind of flakes away because it was undermined by decay. And once the amalgam's out, we're going to go in with our small, slow speed uh, round carbide and just removing the tooth decay until we're back on hard tooth tissue, which we pretty much are there. There's a photo of what it looks like. You can see a little bit of blushing. It got a little close to the pulp. Lots of sharp line angles. So we're going to go in with a uh, round carbide and just kind of smooth off any sharp internal line angles. And once we're happy with the prep, and yes, there's a lot of tooth missing from this one, we uh, strongly advise the crown. Can you uh, shave off the sides of the um, any sharp edges interproximally, and then we're going to matrix the tooth and begin restoring. It's the type of situation where you'd want to restore with a pulp-friendly material like Equia Forte, and then give it a few weeks or months to ensure that the pulp is... Uh, normal and vital there's the matrixed tooth we're going to finish assembling the separator rings and placing them apically and then give them a little shake to wedge the teeth apart and we're pretty much ready to etch and restore here quick burnish so here we're going to do our five second phosphoric acid etch rinse thoroughly dry and then apply our equia forte we're going to overfill and then pack down with a moist cotton pellet. And then we're going to give it five minutes to set. A few moments later. Once the material's set, we're going to remove the separator rings, the matrix assembly, and begin finishing the tooth by removing the excess restorative material, taking out the matrix bands with the how plier. and then using a large round diamond for the gross finishing reduction, and then a large round carbide for the fine finishing reduction. This is a type of situation where we want the tooth fully out of contact to prevent one of those cusps from flaking away. So we're actually gonna take that contact point on the natural tooth down a touch, and we'll reassess. This was a while ago, actually, the tooth is doing well going to coat it with our Equia coat, cure that, and then check the contacts, and, and we're happy there.